All right, so I'm going to be showing you um, some algebra. Uh, so the equation I'm going to be working on is 8 times z plus 53 is equal to 129. Okay, so your first step is to take this 53 right here, the 53, and since we're adding, we need to do the inverse operation to adding, which is subtraction. So we're going to subtract 53 from 129, which is 76. Okay. So now, since we subtracted from the right, 53 from the right side, we have to subtract 53 from the left side. So... We need to subtract 53 from 53, but that just gets you to zero, so that's nothing, right? So we're just going to cross it out. And now we're going to bring 8 and z, or 8 times z down. So now we have 8 times z right here, okay? So now what we need to do is we need to divide 76 by 8. So 76 divided by 8, this line in the... In the fraction here, it means to divide. So we're going to divide um, 76 and 8, and whatever you do from whatever you do on the right side, you have to do the left side. So we're going to do that to this 8, but 8 over 8 is simply just 1. There's right a big 1 in between, which means 1 times z is z. So we're just going to put z down here, and z will equal what we get with 76 over 8. So 76 divided by 8. We're going to do this in decimal, the decimal way, and we're going to do it in, fra in fraction way. So 8 doesn't go into 7 equally, so we need to put a 0 over the 7. And now we need to see how many times 8 goes into 76. Uh, 8 times 9 is 72, right? So we put a 9 over the 6, and we subtract 72 which gets us four, okay? So we're gonna do this in the decimal way. So um, we need to, uh, since eight doesn't go into four, we need to put decimal point here and zero. Now we're gonna bring the zero down. We have 40, so now, oh, we also need to bring the decimal point up right here. So now eight goes into 40, how many times? That uh, goes in that five times, right? So we need to put five up here. And 8 times 5 is 40. So 40 minus 40 is 0. So now we have our decimal answer up here. That is 9 and, nine and 5 tenths. Now we're going to do it in the fraction way. So we're going to go 8 divided by, or 76 divided by 8. 8 doesn't go into 7, right? So we're going to put 0 over the 7. And, but 8 goes into 76 9 times. So we're going to put 9 over the 6. 76 minus 72 is 4. Now we have this 4. Um, so look at this fraction over here, 76 divided by 8. See the denominator on the bottom? Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do 4 eighths. Okay, 4 eighths, it's 9 and 4 eighths, but 4 eighths can be simplified to 1 half, right? So 9 and 1 half is your answer for the decimal, or I mean the fraction. One. So now, all we have to do is just bring the fraction one down, or decimal, it doesn't matter. Nine and a half will bring the fraction one down. Nine and one half. Z equals nine and one half. Now, how we're going to check that is we're going to start all over again. So we're going to go eight times nine and one half plus 53 equals 129. So now we're going to check this. So 8 times 9 is 72, right? So 72. Now what's half of 8? Half of 8 is 4, right? Or 4 eighths. So 4 eighths is 4. Is 4. It's like the number 4. <laughs> so 72 plus 4 is 76, right? So now we have 76. Now all we have to do is add 76 and 53, so we got that right there, 129. And what is the answer over here? 129. So we have 
the answer to Z. Z equals nine and a half.